As you have seen in class, usually when we model, we start with very simple objects. These are usually polygonal objects, and that's what we call box modeling. Now, when we're working with these simple objects, usually we need to define the details of the object that we are creating. And for that, we do subdivisions, we create um, uh, uh, reinforcement loops, and, uh, uh, you know, we create the, we uh, sculpt the uh, models as we go. In some instances, we want to have a way of smoothing out edges or create an extra geometry based on faces. For that, we use something called the bevel tool. So I have a simple cube right here. And for that cube, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and go into its subcomponents. And for that, I'm going to choose the first one. I'm going to choose his face. So I'm going to choose this face right here. And with that face selected, I'm going to go to the modeling tools. And over here under the modeling tools, we have the bevel tool for components. Now for beveling, you can either bevel uh, faces or edges. So if I choose the face in this case, I get the little flyout menu that tells me, okay, you're about to bevel that face, and you'll notice that it created some curvature and a certain amount of subdivisions. Right now I have under segments four subdivisions. Let me reduce that to one, and we have that to one single subdivision. The more you increase, the more subdivisions you'll have as a result, and the smoother the transition. You also can have uh, the amount of, uh, say, whether you want this to be concave uh, convex as it is right now or concave so that means that your bevel is going inward you can also turn off the chamfering the chamfering for this so if you click on that to make sure that that's off basically you have the subdivisions but you have none of the beveling so you can go ahead and just increase or the, I mean make that appear as if it's being beveled um, you also can increase the amount of fraction change on this so that you maintain a certain amount of the original face or you increase or decrease the size of that depending on what your end result needs to be. So this is what it does for faces. You can do several faces at the same time if you need to. Now in this case, let me go ahead and, and click off of this. And now in this case, I want to change to edge. So now for edge, I'm going to select this edge down here. And what I want to do is I want to change that. I mean bevel, sorry, that edge. So if I click on bevel, you'll notice that the same, the same values that I had before applied to that particular beveling, but the bevel this time happens around the the originally selected edge so if i bring the segments down to one i only have basically one single clean cut but as, as i increase them they get the curvature gets smoother again i can change the depth of it to make it concave or convex and i can turn on and off the cham chamfering of that particular corner so this is how you work with the bevel tool